Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy and in this tutorial we're going to be creating an email validation form. So you can incorporate the technique I use in this video into any form uh, you like. Now we're going to go down a slightly uh, unconventional route for form validation uh, in terms of email addresses and we're going to look at doing this using a uh, function that PHP actually gives us. We're not going to be using uh, regular expressions. Um, if you've come across regular expressions before for validating uh, URLs, email addresses, it's extremely uh, complicated um, on first glance. If, if you know you know the certain aspects that make up um, the uh, regular expressions then it can you know qu look quite easy but in terms of PHP we're given a function that allows us to easily filter uh, an email address uh, validate an email address so let's go ahead uh, and test our, how this works I'm going to go ahead and just type in say alex at PHP which obviously isn't a valid email address because we've got no uh, domain extension so if I click submit uh, you can see that we get the message sorry invalid email address uh, if I go ahead and type in say alex at php.com uh, which obviously isn't my email address but if I go ahead and type in my actual email address uh, submit we still get that's a valid email address so if we were to type a load of rubbish in for example then you uh, get sorry an invalid email address now there are a couple of problems with this but you know it shouldn't really hold you back if, if a user is trying to register genuinely on your site they tend to you know 90% of the time give a valid email address uh, however uh, you know if they were to accidentally type something um, this can get a little tricky uh, in terms of validating the uh, domain extension um, obviously, you know, you can't really validate domain name extensions like .com uh, or .org, for example, because new ones can pop up, uh, new ones can become available at different times. Uh, so, you know, there can't be a set standard of validating uh, the end of it. So, for example, if I typed Alex at phpacademy.php, um, uh, which obviously isn't a valid domain extension I click submit uh, it tells me that it's a valid email address even though it isn't so be warned that this uh, is a problem with this however you know there's not really much you can do about it apart from validate uh, you know you could for example uh, split the um, email address by uh, dots explode but then again that's a whole lot another tutorial so we're just going to focus on validating an email address in this way which you know does does a good job in itself. So we're going to go over to the uh, code uh, or the uh, editor and start writing this out. Okay, so we're starting with a blank canvas. Uh, let's go ahead and create our PHP tags. Now this is where all the validation is going to take place, just up here. And down here, we're going to create our form, which we're going to allow our user to submit an email address. So let's go ahead and create a simple form. We're going to leave the action blank, which is going, going to submit the form to the um, current page that we're on. And we're going to supply a method of post. Uh, we'll end the form there and we'll start to create the uh, input. So we've got an input type, first of all, of text. That's where we're going to be placing our email address in. Um, and then we're going to give it a name so we can identify it when we pass this through to PHP. So I'm going to call this user underscore email. Okay, so uh, below this, let's go ahead and create a submit button. So let's input type submit. Uh, we don't need any other attributes for this field. Uh, by default uh, in Chrome, let's just see, it says submit. So we can type an email address in here now and we can click submit. That passes the variable uh, or the, you know, uh, value in here back to the script. Okay, so inside PHP, we're going to do some other validation here as well. We're first of all going to check if this variable is set, because if we try and access this variable without checking if it is first set, uh, we'll get a, uh, an error in PHP. For example, echo dollar underscore post, click there, user email. Uh, if we go back onto our page, uh, you can see that we've got this undefined index error, which is a problem. So the first thing we want to do before we, you know, echo it out or set it into a or, or place it into another variable, uh, we need to go ahead and validate. So let's create an if block just here. We've got if our parentheses and then two of our curly brackets. Uh, we're going to use the uh, is set language construct, and we're just going to say is set dollar underscore post user email, and we want that to equal true. And we also want to check whether, whether the user has typed anything because obviously we don't want to validate a blank email address. 
So we want to say um, empty dollar underscore post uh, user email, and we want this. Uh, we want to make sure this is equal to false. So we want to say, is this set? I.e., is it true? Is it empty? I.e., you know, is it not empty? Has it got some content? Then what we can do is uh, place it into its own variable. So I'm going to say email equals dollar underscore post user, let's type that properly, user email. And then below this, we want to go ahead and perform the uh, email validation. Now this is extremely easy. Uh, we can just do this using one function, as I said earlier. So if I was to say if, and then we can create a block there, I want to say, so if filter underscore var, and then in brackets, uh, I'm gonna give this a couple of parameters in a minute, but I want this to equal true. Here, we're gonna say uh, yay, and else, we're gonna say nay. So uh, this is uh, gonna be the message if it's a valid email address, and this is gonna be the message if it's a uh, invalid email address. So filter var email, we can pass that variable into it. Uh, and now we're gonna type here filter underscore, and in capitals by the way, filter underscore validate underscore email. So we're telling this filter var function, which isn't specifically set aside to validate email addresses, it does uh, validate other things as well. We're saying validate this string here, and or, so basically filter var, we're, we're you know, filtering down and checking this variable here for a match, and we, we're telling it to validate it as an email address. Now if it, ha if it can't validate it as an email address, this function, then it will pass the value false, i.e. this won't equal true, um, and we'll end up in this block here. Otherwise, it will end up in this block. So here, I'm going to go ahead and okay. echo oh, that, and I'm just going to escape that there. A valid email address. Otherwise, we want to say not a valid email address or something like that. So let's go over to our uh, browser and preview this. Uh, let's just go ahead and type in a load of rubbish and click submit. You can see that we get the not a valid email address um, text. Uh, if we go ahead and type in a valid email address, i.e. my email address and click submit, you see we get the message that's a valid email address. So you can see that using this, uh, using this uh, function, we've e easily validated an email address and you can go ahead and incorporate this into, uh, you know, validating through uh, different form fields if your user is typing say username and email address etc etc so it's extremely easy just to incorporate uh, into the validation system that you currently have